But we are into the men's quarterfinals here in France. It's all going down on the beach. The sun is shining. There's so many free surfers at La Sud down at the bottom end of the beach here in Hospor. Jeremy Flores and Ryan Callanan have just paddled out into the lineup for quarterfinal number one. And we're back. Jeremy Flores tucked into the barrel. He sneaks through. Quarterfinal number one is underway. Goes for a big wrap back into the pocket. Throwing all of the power into that slide onto the inside. Feeling so comfortable here at home. <laughs> and puts on a little flair to finish. Rosie, how exciting. I love this. So I'm having deja vu. I mean, this morning, the first heat in the lineup against Jordy Smith, a similar scenario. Jeremy starting off strong. He's replicated that now in the quarterfinals. Jeremy, as he finds some coverage, how deep did he get in this barrel? Disappears for a moment there. Hear the cheer from the crowd. Beautiful roundhouse cutback. More maneuver options from Jeremy. He looks fired up. I love the intent in his surfing at the moment and the passion we're seeing from the Frenchman. I was just with um, them in the contest area and Jeremy was, he looked fired up and he looked like he's going to win this event. And his whole family's there to support him. So I think he's feeling really well. <laughs> I love the fact that he's bringing so much energy to this and I know that you guys are teammates on the French team. You guys just competed in the ISAs. Jeremy, he's a bit of a veteran on tour. What kind of advice does he give you? He, uh, he's a really good surfer, and I respect him so much. And I was with him at the ISAs, and he was kind of giving me really good advice. Paddled out into the lineup, so it would have given you a boost of confidence coming from really heavy surf. As we have a look out in front, man, the waves are just absolutely on fire. Rosie, who was that tucked in? Doesn't make it out. Ryan Callanan blasting it out on his backhand as well. Coming in for a second turn in that frothy section on the inside, but connects that to a completed wave. Gets his opening wave of the quarterfinals. He had a semi, so, sorry, a final finish here, right? Last year? Last year against Julian Wilson, Ryan was in the final. Finished the event with a second plate. And take it through last of Ryan. Ryan teeing it up on the backhand, beautiful flow through his maneuvers, slows down there as this wave gets a bit frothy, a lot of water to contend with. So finishes that ride, he's going to be happy that he's got Booth with us just explaining some of those strategies coming into competition, warming up, getting some practice heats in with Michelle Perez, tucked in under the lip, unable to come out. A lot of French competitors still in the mix here, Bahine. Yeah, there's Michelle. And Jeremy oh, no. Flores. <laughs> Jeremy. Look at that opening turn. That was so sick. Comes in for a second one. He's been on fire all morning. He's going to kick out and get himself into the back line as quick as possible. Yeah, just Jeremy backing up that opening ride. First move was strong, then a little bit mistimed on that car, not really eventuating into anything serious. Beautiful wall of water stretches out in front of him. Hacks it in that pocket. This wave kind of fattens out, cuts back into that white water, and he kicks out. Beautiful bottom turn. Look how low to the wall of the water he gets. Really puts the emphasis on there. Just drops that backhand into the wall of water. Love that maneuver choice from Jeremy. Goes for the cutback. Gets the reverb there. And I love seeing the way he just dragged his hand on that bottom turn, set himself up, goes for the layback. So out in the lineup, heat number eight, round of 16. Sitting with six and a half minutes on the clock with Jeremy Flores, quarterfinal number one, threading the barrel, comes out clean as ever, so much speed. Throws the fins out the back. Oh. The beach is blowing up. Jeremy Flores <laughs> is on fire. <laughs> His dad Patrick on screen there. Everybody loving Jeremy's performance. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I'm so impressed. I think Jeremy, he mentioned it the other day when he was in the booth with us. He had a scrappy heat. He got the win and he said, I feel like things are starting to fall in my favor. It just seems he's so in tune with what the, the waves are doing at the moment. He seems happy. His surfing seems freed up. You said it earlier, Vihine, he's got his whole family here and that feels really good. Yeah, look at this wave. He's so in tune with the wave. <laughs> You'd have to 
always say Jeremy's strength is just that intuition in the bowel. He's so good inside the tube, but then also the fact that he gets a few maneuver options on this wave. I love the passion. I think Jeremy is one of those guys who's not afraid to show um, his emotion. Love the way that he lined up this tube. We've seen a lot of waves kind of funnel away from the surface without them being able to find the exit. Jeremy just held that speed and that line and then repositions his feet, finds a few maneuvers here on the open face. Just such a beautiful wave to watch. Like you said, that passion coming out at the finish. And Callanan sitting with priority. Beautiful open face in front of the Australian. Tucks into the barrel. I doubt he's going to come out of that one, but he had a final finish last year. Michelle Perez trying to get into the quarterfinals, but Ryan Callanan already there. Nice opening turn on his backhand. Goes in for a second, throws a ton of spray into that one. Hopes for a nice critical pocket as he comes through to that shallower section. Ducks out underneath. He's chasing a decent score, a really decent score, of a 9.4 to take the lead away from Jeremy Flores. We saw a similar version of that from Medina earlier. He's down. Back into a hollow pit is Flores, who can do no wrong with the crowd backing every move he makes. 13.4 total out front. The family and friends are loving it so far. Yeah, absolutely right. Jeremy Flores on some kind of roll at the moment, already dropping an 8.07. Thing read on it, plus the body language is, is phenomenal. Jeremy Flores just slotting into a beautiful tube ride. Comes out nice and clean, 6.33. So job done in improving his situation. Ryan Callanan needing some uh, solid scores, some solid numbers to get himself back in, but Jeremy showing us why he's regarded as one of the best tube riders in the world. We've just got to look at the events that he's won. Pipe Masters, Chopu. Good opportunity for him to improve his situation. Big arc out the back for Ryan Callanan. Beautiful bottom turn. Aki-esque as he got super low. He gets a lot of comparisons as well to Luke Egan, who's been on hand doing some coaching throughout this event. He's a, just a little kid in Reunion Island. He was about eight or nine years of age. His family saved up some cash, sent him here to Hossiger, France for a, like a pro junior venue. He was one of the youngest guys in the draw. Won that contest, signed with Quicksilver on the spot. Crazy oh. backhand cave. That ability to catch up Ryan Callanan on his backhand again, trying to get himself back into the mix. Beautiful snap off the top with a bit of a tail drift. And again, another searing turn there from Ryan. Joe, as you said, his backhand surfing is phenomenal. Look at the control that he has over his board there, just releasing those fins, grabs the rail off the bottom and jams in another big, massive maneuver. Beautiful body talk there. I like the upper body movement in Ryan's surfing. It makes it look so special. He can hold those maneuvers and extend those maneuvers and make them look bigger and stronger than ever. We've seen him have a couple of falls in his heats, but he's been surviving. Flores under the hood. That board is starting to drive. Can he get oh! the exit? And just getting clipped wow. after going the distance. <laughs> that was super close. The waves oh are my pumping. Gosh. It's so fun and it looks so cool when Jeremy gets that rail driving deep in the pit. He's unbelievable. Forehand and backhand. A two-time pipe master. Former champ at Chopo. Rookie of the year. Five-minute mark for Jeremy and Ryan Callanan. Priority is with Flores. Looking at this one. Here's Ryan Callanan. Blowtail oh. reverse attempt. And he can't hang on. Famous for futuristic maneuvers above the lip. Jeremy for many years was the Sometimes the only surfer representing France on the top 34 as he drives through this hollow pit. Did he get enough speed out of the gates? And looks like that one took him down. Ryan made a comeback with two big backside hacks, but it's Flores keeping the roll going here at the Quicksilver Pro. His personal best result continues to get better and better as he's into the semifinals.